Hello guys and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I show you how to enable a function with the E button. So just add the trigger where you want. I have placed it at a perm. Then add a emitter system or anything you want. You can also use a matinee or something else. And then go into Kismet. With the trigger selected, right click into Kismet. New event using trigger zero. And instead of touch, we will use the function used. Okay. Now just add action, so toggle, or you can also use a matinee, or something else, I will use toggle. Okay, let's go into the trigger. Here we have some properties. So the aim to interact property is that you have to, when it's activated, you have to directly look onto the trigger and press E, so that the function will be enabled. When you put this out, you just have to go to the trigger, press E, you can look everywhere you like, just press E and then the function will be enabled. I will use the aim to intact now. Here at the intact distance, you can choose the intact distance like it said. So let's say this is the 128 radius. In this radius, you can activate the action with E. When we put in like 400, you can activate the action in this radius here. Okay, now we'll go, go down a little bit. Here, maximum trigger count, you can choose the maximum trigger count. You can choose 1, 2, 0, 4, 10, whatever you like. And yeah, let's try it out. Just go into View, Where Properties, UT Deathmatch. Now click on to Play Now. Okay, now when you move at the trigger, nothing appears. There's no particular system. Yeah. Now let's go to the plant, look directly to the trigger and press E. Now you see, it's here. Yeah, now try it out with the aim to interact not enabled. And try it out. Go here, watch up. Yeah. Here. And now it's on. Yeah, that's it, how you use the trigger with the E function. So when you press E, you can get any function you like. And yeah, thank you for watching, I hope you guys liked it, and until next time.